Well, this sucks. Ladies and gentlemen, it is official. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga will not have a customizer in the game. It is now official. We're going to go on ahead and address all of that and much more. But first and foremost, I want to ask you guys of one thing. I know what you're thinking right now, Blitz. He's going to say hit the thumbs up button, get the merch, become a subscriber, consider becoming a member. No, I want everybody to scroll down to the comment section and drop an F to pay respect because this absolutely positively without a shadow of a doubt stinks. Now, how do we know that this is official? Well, TT Games finally today have gone out and addressed this point blank and have told us, as you can see via this tweet from their verified account, they say, hey, we'd like to address this point directly. Now, what point are they uh, addressing? Let me grab the headphones so we can listen to this together. Now, this uh, next clip is from Hip Hop Gamer, there you go. and he had asked back. one of the as people working been. on the game, hey, is the LEGO customizer coming back? And back. they say, yes, as, as always it always been. is, uh, been a Car part of the game. Back. Well, I guess that's no longer true, because as you can see, TT Games says, hi, we'd like to address this point directly. This interview was from 2019, and sometimes features change throughout development. We can confirm that LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga does not... I'm going to repeat that for effect. Does not have character customization, but we do have 300 plus characters for you to choose from. So this sucks. Um, I got to be honest. Again, I'm always going to be a person who's going to be very upfront with you guys. There's a lot of things that I really love about this game in terms of uh, how innovative it is, how much it takes the old tropes and like completely reworks them. The combat system, the world travel, the depth of everything. It's it's still a game that I am phenomenally excited for. This is not going to go on ahead and deter me from wanting to play this game or being excited for it. But I can't also go on ahead and pretend like I don't think that a lack of customizer is a good thing. I think it sucks. You guys know that I love LEGO DC Supervillains for the fact that it has such an amazing customizer. I was really hoping that they would build on that going forward. And... The customization feature has been present in many, 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 many LEGO games. I think there might be one or two only in the history of LEGO games as far as we know them as like these adventure games that were missing the customizer. And it looks like LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is going to be another one of those. That's a bummer, especially because there are 300 plus characters in this. Just imagine how the customizer would be like in terms of the possibilities would legit be endless. You wouldn't even need to have such a depth that we saw from Lego DC supervillains. You could literally just mix and match pieces and it would probably be pretty spectacular as in terms of what we could accomplish. But I guess, again, considering there's a lot of things in this game that are complete overworks, consider how many delays this game has already had. If you told me like, hey, Blitz, would you want this thing to be delayed another year just for the customizer? I would say no. But if you told me like, hey, would you want this game to be delayed a couple of months? I would say yes. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think that this is a huge hindrance to this game? Is it going to affect your excitement for the game? Let me know down in the comment section below. I am legitimately curious. I really do want to hear your opinions and thoughts down in the comment section below because I know that there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be very upset about this. But I also do admire TT Games getting ahead of this and actually going out there and publicly answering this and going on ahead and letting us know officially. I may or may not have suspected of this based on the early preview where I was able to play the game for around 90 minutes or so. And so I just think that it's really, it, it, it sucks. Like, I'm not going to pretend like it doesn't. Um, but I also think that I understand why it's happening because the game is so huge as it is. And they already reworked so much from a gameplay perspective, from a engine perspective, that my guess is that the customizer was just one of those features that just had to get cut for the sake of budget, time, and actually meeting the deadlines that they had. So there you have it. Those are my two cents on this. Let me know what you guys all think down in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye, guys.